Hi, this is Simon Obstel and welcome to another tutorial for Blackmagic Fusion. And today I want to show you how to create this effect of a ball that's bobbing along the surface of the water, getting that ball's vertical position driven by the displacement. And this involves a custom vertex trick that you may well not be aware of. So let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create this water surface. So add a 3D shape. Let's set its size to 25, subdivisions to 60. Let's come over to the transform, set that X rotation to negative 90. Let's take a look at it. Looks like this. I've turned off the grid instantly because it's annoying and I've also turned on 3D lighting. And actually let's give it a little bit of colour and I'll increase the exponent on the specular as well. Okay, so then to displace this we are going to add a 3D displace, obviously, and we're going to use a fast noise as the displace source. So pipe that into the displace and take a look at what we got. So I'm just going to set up the fast noise quite quickly, open up the scale here, set the X scale to one and the Y scale to five. And let's take a look at that. So what's very important is to make this fast noise square. And I'm not gonna go crazy here. I'm just gonna go with 1024 by 1024. Really important it's square because it needs to match our square water surface. So let's just come back to the color for the fast noise. I'm just going to turn that alpha all the way up so it's less confusing when we look at it here. And let's come back to here and set a seethe rate of, I don't know, something like 0.2. So now our water is going to seethe like that. I'll maybe just increase the contrast up to three so we've got something really obvious like that. Okay, so then on the surface of this water, we want to add our little basketball or wherever it is. So let's add another 3D shape. Let's set it to sphere and let's merge it with the displace so we can see both together like this. Let's maybe make our sphere a little bit smaller. Let's go 4.5 for its radius and let's make it red. So it's very obvious where it is. But of course, at the moment, it's underneath the water. So to get it to bob along with the water, we are going to add a custom vertex to this 3D shape. Actually, let's call that ball so we're not confusing ourselves and I'll also call this water. Okay, a bit more obvious now. So I'm going to take the fast noise and I'm going to pipe it into the image one input of the custom vertex like that. And then I will come to the Y position, which will allow us to get it to bob up and down in time with that fast noise. So what I'm going to do is PY plus get R1 D open brackets 0.5 comma 0.5 close brackets. So what that expression is saying is to all of the vertices of our ball, add the value of the red channel from the input image at the location 0.5 and 0.5. So 0.5 on X and 0.5 on Y. In other words, the center of that fast noise image. So I've chosen the red channel, but that doesn't really make any difference. I could have chosen either the green or the blue because it's a grayscale input. And the reason I'm using D is that if we were to eventually move outside the bounds of the image, then it would duplicate the edge pixels. That's, so that's what the D means. And now if we zoom into our scene here, actually we don't need to see our fast noise anymore. We should be able to see that our ball is actually bobbing along like that on the surface because it's being driven also by that fast noise. So that's really quite simple. The little bit, bit that's not quite so simple is that obviously we want our ball to kind of travel around. And in order to do that, I'm going to select the custom vertex and the ball, and I'm going to open them both up. So what I want to do is I want to come to the numbers for the custom vertex, these here and I want to come to the transform for the ball. So I'm going to add an expression to number one and an expression to number two. And for the number one expression, I'm going to pick whip the X translation of the ball. And for the number two, I'm going to pick whip the Z translation of the ball. So then we can just focus on these numbers here. 
So we need to remember that the surface area of our water is 25 units across and we need to allow for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 25 and just to get it back into position, I'm going to add plus 0.5. I'm going to do the same with the Z divided by 25 plus 0.5. And then what I need to do with the Z is I need to invert it. So I'm going to put this in brackets, this, and I'm going to come to the beginning here and let's do one minus. So that's inverted that. And the reason we're inverting it is because we're mapping the Y values to the Z values and going in a positive Z direction is actually going in a negative Y direction, if that makes any sense. So what we then finally need to do is we need to swap out this expression here. So instead of getting 0 0.5, 0 0.5, which is the center of the fast noise, we want to use those number values. So I'm going to go N1, comma, N2. And now if we move our ball around, let's move it on Z like this, you can see that it's moving up and down over those waves like that. So let's just set up a simple animation here. I'm going to apply an expression to the X. So cos open brackets time divided by 48 close brackets times eight. And let's do the same thing with the Z sine open brackets time divided by 57 close brackets times seven, just so we've got a, a path like this, but you can animate it any way you choose. And then our ball is going to move around on the surface of the waves like this, bobbing, bobbing, bobbing. Everything about it is correct. The only thing we might want to do is to have our ball sit a little bit higher in the water. And to do that, we can come back to our custom vertex and we can simply add a little bit of an offset here. So let's try adding plus 0.15. And I don't know whether you can see that just sort of it bobs a little bit higher in the water. You can just adjust that to taste basically. So anyway, very simple technique. We're using this fast noise to drive that vertical position of the ball. So it matches the water displacement. And just one final point, obviously I've used a sphere here, but we could equally well use any other 3D primitive. We could swap to a cube and that will work as well. So I hope that's been useful. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.